So, what's today's plan? I would like to send this little satellite into a polar orbit of the moon. It has the usual stuff, you know, antennas, some solar panels, batteries and RCS thrusters with monopropellant and the entire vessel has a weight of 2.4 tons. Not very much. And here we have a rocket with three stages. The third stage is hidden behind the fairing on top of it and the entire rocket has a weight of 70 tons, so not that big. It has a delta V of 5600 meters per second, which should be enough according to this delta V map which is very very helpful so let's get to the launch pad so here we are at the launch site of ksp2 again i will decrease the throttle down to 65 percent because the engine is quite strong and we will head for 90 degrees going east so let's start the countdown and lift off of the b-class satellite going onto a polar orbit around the moon let's switch to sea level and wait until we reach 2000 meters before we start the gravity turn and we are above 2000 meters so let's start the gravity turn towards 90 degrees slowly we will try to establish a stable orbit around 80 to 100 kilometers of altitude stay close to the prograde and we approach the next phase of the atmosphere with a lower density so it's time to throttle up a little bit more maybe let's keep it at 45 degrees and we are about to decouple I will throttle up a little bit more because the poodle engine here is quite weak. You can see that we are no longer increasing our velocity, but it's enough to keep it for now. And since the rotation of the rocket is not perfectly aligned to the horizon, I will make a little rotation. And we are reaching space right now. Looking good so far. And now we are aligned to the horizon. So let's just wait until our upper apsis reaches 80 kilometers so we are out of the atmosphere. Where's our Kerbal Space Center? There it is. We're building up much distance already and the apoapsis is out of the atmosphere so we can put our nose down so we stop increasing our apoapsis and just working on our periapsis. and shut down the engine. We are out of the atmosphere, so we can deploy our fairing since it also has some weight. Jetonize it. And it's, oh my god. Oh god, what was that? RCS on to stabilize. I need to give some more throttle to stabilize the rocket. I actually really don't want to use the fairing anymore, but we need it. It's just a shame. I really hope that this gets fixed quickly. As far as I can see it, no damage has been done to the satellite. That's good. Reignite the stage. And now we are building up the periapsis quite fast. Slow down a little bit. And we will just wait until we are out of the atmosphere. This is enough. Let's Let's get to the tracking station to make a maneuver so where's the moon where's the moon there it is in the far distance somewhere around here this should be okay great maneuver let's get out of here and try to match the path of our moon a little bit more a little bit slower slower, slower. that was too fast maybe a little bit lower is it possible to get lower but i don't want to get too fast just keep it like this and here we have a new 3d hologram which shows us from which side we would approach the moon if we would make the this specific burn we require 800 meters per second and this should be done by our current stage which has 1200 meters per second left so let's just fast forward to the maneuver okay we are close to it so let's head for our target use some rcs for that we have 20 seconds left so we should hurry a little bit i think we have enough time Where is the target? Woo, it's getting close again. Come on. Ah, we need a little bit faster, 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 faster. Okay, we will just start to burn now. Use our engine to finish our rotation. And now let's just stay here at the target. This looks fine. We are aligned correctly right now. So give more throttle until our path crosses the path of our moon. We can see the apoapsis is building up fast. Okay, we approach our target. Slow down a little bit. And now we should see. Okay, that looks engine off. We overshot a little bit, but this should be fine. Delete this maneuver. We no longer need it. And now just enjoy the ride. Fast forward. And 
here we can already see the moon in the far distance crossing my fingers here that everything is going to be fine let's check where we are okay we are already halfway through and as soon as we reach the new periapsis we will make a new burn in the opposite direction to close the new orbit around the moon enter the moon's bubble and here we are so our periapsis is about 1000 kilometers high i will set a maneuver somewhere around here and break us very very hard so we get our wanted orbit around the moon and let's say the periapsis at around 305 kilometers somewhere around here we can make small adjustments later and you can see that i've already put a little satellite of the same type of the class b type into a normal standard orbit around uh, 300 kilometers of altitude we need to do some more changes upwards so you can see now we are getting our polar orbit i'm just playing around here i'm sure that you guys are more confident with you know uh, creating maneuvers but for me this is <laughs> still something new so here the maneuver says that if we make this correction we should run out of fuel but of course we have one more last stage left okay i will buy that so let's go back to our stage and let's just look for where's the moon where's the moon where's the moon hello oh there's the moon so let's just check where our target is for now so we don't be too late for our rotation again somewhere around here this should be enough put off the rcs and put off the sas and since our electric charge is so low also put out all the lights i will also disable the computer this bad boy eats a lot of energy so i will just uh, disable the control for now and enable it again as soon as we get closer to our burn here so let's just fast forward And here we are and we saved some fuel put on the computer again enable please put on the sas again and set our heading for our maneuver little rotation so we are aligned to the horizon and our burn shall last for 18 seconds at full throttle so that's what we're exactly gonna do so prepare yourself guys quite strong Let's go to the tracking station to see how our orbit changes. Let's get a little bit slower. I don't need full throttle for that. And here we have it. This looks fine so far. Check our periapsis here and head for 300 kilometers and shut off the engine. All right, our last stage is empty so we can actually get rid of it now. We will move a little bit away from the empty stage here with our last stage rockets here. Go a little bit away to build up some safe distance to it. And just to be sure, I will disable the computer again. I should have packed some more batteries. I definitely have to do this next time. So let's just set up our next maneuver too, close to the periapsis and try to get our periapsis down to 305 kilometers. And we also need a little bit more an upwards rotation. We need to work with all those maneuver controls here. More upwards, a little bit lower again. I'm not sure, maybe this should be fine. We can make small adjustments later too, as I already said. And we need a delta V of 450 meters per second. We have 70, 50 meters per second left and wait until we reach the next point of action so let's just fast forward once again and here we are enable our computer again enable the SAS systems too and head for our target we can use the SAS alone for that since we are now lighter our burn shall last 30 seconds at full throttle quite wobbly i will ignite the rcs systems let's see but this looks very very good periapsis oh oh shit. what happened okay this is where i have to jump in to explain exactly what happened maneuvers in ksp2 seem to work a bit differently now compared to ksp1 which totally confused me at this point i still managed to achieve a polar orbit by executing and aborting maneuvers over and over again before the periapsis got too low obviously this way takes way longer so if you want to know how the new maneuver system works in ksp2 check the video description for a very good tutorial by the youtuber meta jones
And now we are really getting closer and closer to our polar orbit. That's good, but I don't know why our maneuver tells us that it should be higher later. With one more last maneuver, we should be able to finish our polar orbit. And the heading looks good. Burn time of only six seconds. And give some throttle and go to the tracking station view. This looks very, very good. I think this is gonna be it. Shut off the engines, delete the maneuver. And now the only thing we need to do is to increase both our apoapsis and periapsis up to 305 kilometers. So let's just fast forward until we reach the periapsis in 20 minutes. So let's just change our orientation to the prograde and reignite the four little engines here until we reach an altitude of 305 kilometers, get slower and shut off the engine. And now we just need to wait until we reach the apoapsis to make the same adjustment. Down to normal speed, heading for our prograde. It looks fine so far. Reignite our engines here until we reach 305 kilometers. Shut off the engine one degree off the perfect polar orbit. So now I will decouple the last stage. Deploy our panels so we can finally charge our batteries. And now we finally established our polar orbit around the moon on an altitude of 305 kilometers. Get rid of all remaining debris to keep the space clean. And here we have our new B-class satellite on a polar orbit around the moon. So thank you very much for joining me here again. I hope you enjoyed it. Looking forward to have you back on board again on our next ride here in KSB2. Thanks for watching and take good care of yourself.